Hello, welcome back. Here is question number 29 for today. X is a real number, then this expression is a real number if and only if. Now, this expression is a real number. Mostly, we leave such questions just by looking at the expression. Moreover, there is a base of E. Many of us do not even know what is E. We don't use that in the equations. Rather, we don't even teach in CAT. But if CAT is asking you a question on that, probably they are not going to use that. It is just like another constant, the way other constants are there, like 2, 3, 4, 5. They have written E just to scare you. Don't be scared of it. How do we do this question? Let's have a look at this now. Now, here the question has given a function in logarithm to us. Okay? And there are four ranges which are there with us. We all know that logarithm is valid only for positive values. You can't have log of a negative number. You can't have log of zero. So, you just have log of positive numbers. Clearly, I can see over here that log of 4x minus x square divided by 3 and the base is e here. If x is 0, this number would become 0 and you will have a log of 0. Log of 0 is not defined. So, I cannot take x as 0. 0 is the first thing that comes to our mind. This range has a 0 in it, forget it. This range has a 0 in it, forget it. So, my answer is going to be either B or C. Out of B or C, one range is from 1 to 2, one range is from 1 to 3. Of course, 1 to 2 is inside 1 to 3. So, the values between 2 and 3, if they satisfy this, I would say C is my answer. If they do not, I would say B is my answer. Let's try to put 3. If I put 3 here, it is 4 into 3, 12 minus 3 square that is equal to 9 whole divided by 3. This gives me 12 minus 9 that is 3. 3 by 3 is 1. This gives me log 1 and log 1 is yes it is valid because log 1 gives me 0. Square root of 0 is 0. That means 3 satisfies so this also would not be my answer. My answer is option C and that's how we do it. I have told this before as well in algebra most of the questions can be done by plugging in some values. That's the right way of doing these questions. Thank you very much.